Hi there! Today we're going to be taking a look at the D major scale. In ascending order from bottom to top, the notes of the D major scale are as follows. D, 1 and 2. E, 2nd valve. F sharp, 2 and 3. G, 1 and 2. A, 2nd valve. B, 1 and 2. C sharp, 2nd valve. And D, open. Let's listen to those notes in ascending order. In descending order from top to bottom, the notes of the D major scale are as follows. D, open. C sharp, second valve. B, one and two. A, second valve. G, one and two. F sharp, two and three. E, second valve. And D, one and two. Let's listen to those notes in descending order. In the D major arpeggio, the notes in ascending order from bottom to top are as follows. D, 1 and 2. F sharp, 2 and 3. A, second valve. And D, open. Let's listen to those notes in ascending order. In descending order from top to bottom, the notes of the D major arpeggio are as follows. D, open. A, second valve. F sharp, two and three. And D, one and two. Let's listen to those notes in descending order. For our next exercise, we are going to be playing the D major scale and arpeggio in a modified all-state pattern. We're going to set the metronome to 60 beats per minute, and we're going to use half notes for our long notes and quarter notes for our short notes. Remember, for any all-state pattern, the notes need to be tongued going up and slurred going down. And the arpeggio is to immediately follow the scale proper. For this exercise, we are going to sing letter names with fingerings up and down the scale and arpeggio first, followed by playing everything on the tuba. G, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, C sharp, B, A, G, F sharp, E, D, F sharp, A, D, A, F sharp, D.
played the D major scale in a modified all-state pattern, let's work to slowly start bringing up the tempo. It's important that throughout the entire exercise that our sound remains calm, smooth, and beautiful. Don't feel pressured to move on to the next tempo until you're comfortable with the tempo you're in. For our next exercise, we are going to be playing the D major scale in an unmodified all-state pattern. We're going to set the metronome back to 60 beats per minute, but play it just as quickly as when we had the metronome set to 120. This means that what was previously our quarter notes are now eighth notes, and what was previously our half notes are now quarter notes. For this exercise, we are going to sing the letter names with fingerings up and down the scale on arpeggio first, followed by playing everything on the tuba. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, C sharp, B, A, G, F sharp, B, D, F sharp, A, D, A, F sharp, D. When playing any scale with a higher range, such as the D major scale, there is always a temptation to rely solely on the embouchure to produce the pitch. While it is true that the embouchure is responsible for generating the vibrations that causes the sound to play, it is impossible for the embouchure to do so without proper air support. The trick to practicing these scales is to try and make your high notes feel just as open and relaxed as your lower notes. Remember, when playing a high scale, breathe deep and breathe often. That wraps it up for the D major scale. Good luck on memorizing all of your scales.